Hello and welcome to my very messy food closet. Uh, over the last month or so, I've been stocking up on clearance items and this is where it all kind of got thrown. So I employed my husband to organize this hot mess. This is the before. Ta-da! Okay, so this is the amazing work that my husband did. All right, let's start with the wall over here. This is an old shoe rack that I repurposed because I thought, wow, what a really good idea to get some um, extra storage. So we just used some very sturdy screws and put them in the wall. We also use anchors uh, to help with the extra weight. But we have, this is ramen that needs to be eaten. We have ramen, extra baby food, which we will probably never eat. Uh, this is some curry that I found on clearance. He put all my pasta here and he put this curry here, but I think I'll put it next to this one so that way I see him. Okay, so we got curry mixes for easy dinners. We have pasta. I bought a boat ton of pasta over the last few months because it lasts long and it's filling. Pizza crust, His he likes tea. Mac and cheese. Um, I've kind of stocked up on some peanut butter. More pasta, which I might actually put this here. So that way it's all together. That, I like putting it all together so that way I know exactly what I have. Okay, so pasta, pizza crust, tea, extra peanut butter. Um, we like this kind the best because it tastes the best. And then more olive oil, and I like the mac. I like buying extra mac and cheese because it keeps. Uh, it's an easy lunch or an easy dinner for the girls. And what is that? Extra spices and random t-shirts that I cut up. Let's see. Let's start from the bottom here. Um, I bought that 15. That's a 15-pound bag of potatoes I got for about three dollars. Um, I've started shopping at different stores just to see, uh, get the good stuff they have. And so I got 15 pounds of potatoes. All that baby food I think I got too much um, this is a little shower caddy thing but I bought it and it works good for like small things um, I like keeping this little basket in here I like to keep this little basket in here for times when I have like little plastic things like this um, I just don't want them falling on the floor and busting or glass I keep like a lot of salsa um, and glass jars in here um, and then you just put, there's extra ramen. This is candy stuff, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like candy stuff that we're gonna use to make Christmas candy. I have some soy sauce, sliced olives, and some spices and sprinkles in the back. My girls really like sprinkles, so I always like to get those on sale because they like, we like to make our own frosting and uh, make stuff. This is my canned goods section. Uh, he kept all my soups together because I like eat, I like getting these cheap soups uh, on clearance for quick lunches. You can put like a can of milk or a can of water in it and it will double it and you can eat a chicken sandwich. So he and I can share one can of soup that way with um, a grilled cheese sandwich. We eat our own grilled cheese. Uh, this is my cream of chicken and my chicken broth aisle. This is some extra beans. Uh, refried beans. I got a bunch of tomato sauce uh, on clearance one day. They, I think they were beat up in processing or stocking. Uh, extra oats. I think I had this in one of my videos. Extra Parmesan cheese. So these, the first two go bad in June and the last one goes bad in, excuse me, April and then the last one goes bad in June. And I use these a lot in uh, Alfredo sauce. So those go pretty quick. Uh, extra canola oil. I think that was in a video I did. Extra olive oil. Put this guy down here. Uh, canned tomato, diced tomatoes. Olive oil. I got three of the, I got these for nine dollars. And I mean, we're still like a, I mean, there's probably like a third of this left. Uh, that's how little we'll use it. And when did these go bad? I think in like 2023, yeah, December 2023. So I mean, this will easily last us nine months, if not longer. Uh, we have a ton of tuna. I don't know why I'm obsessed with tuna, but we do. Uh, rice, um, I got 10, 20 pounds for $10. Normally it would have been 40. 
a boat ton of wheat rotini I got. I think they were 69 cents. So we stocked up on those. Yep, these will last a while. Oh, this is cool. Uh, I got this cake. Uh, and I checked inside of it before we bought it, and the only thing I can think is wrong with it is the um, the box was beat up. So for like six dollars, we got this fun little Christmas house that they can decorate, and they have these little pizza kits uh, that are really fun. All you have to do is add water and your own toppings, and that makes a really fun meal for the girls on nights where I don't feel like cooking. Uh, a boat ton of beans and a boat ton of more rice, a boat ton of cereal, and a boat ton of apple juice. So we should be good on a lot of things until April. This is another area that my husband organized. So this looked awful before he organized it, but basically up there I just keep extra um, pitchers and storage containers and all my sandwich bags and freezer bags are up there and then he likes cereal for snacks so he just eats that stuff but um this is where i keep stuff probably that i use more immediately like for dinner and stuff except for those i keep beans in there pounds of beans in there rice um all these cookies that someone gave us breadcrumbs and that is a little pizza pack thing that i like to keep on hand it makes really easy dinners or pizza bread. Um, the girls really like that. Um, breakfast cereal, and I keep, I think this is, what do I keep it in here? Ooh. Uh, this is kind of stuff that I would use for baking, like powdered sugar, brown sugar. There's some sprinkles under there. Back here, what did he put? Oh. This is like maybe bread making stuff. We have a ton of yeast, some Italian seasoning. What is this? This is tahini, matzo ball makers, and cornbread mix. That's a cute. I just like. I like keeping stuff in boxes because it's just easier to pull out when you have a lot of really small stuff. Um, I got these at Dollar Tree. So yeah, it's all nice and neat and we know where it goes. We know where it goes.